Hey you guys and welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly readings and we're now on Pisces. All right Pisces, so let's see what Spirit has to say to you for this week. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Messages for Pisces. What does Pisces need to hear and know for this week? Welcome back to my channel, Pisces. I missed you. <laughs> okay, we have one flip out. Let's get two more for the Oracle cards. Let's get two more. Okay. There's another one, and then let's draw. Okay. Hmm. So, Pisces, the first thing I want to say right off the bat is you know what you are you know what you deserve and it's time to start speaking up for what you want this week you need to set some major boundaries with people who come into your life i don't care if it's romantic i don't care if it's friends family you need to set up some major boundaries for people who use you People who tell you lies, people who deceive you, people who cheat, steal from you, people who borrow money, never pay you back. You need to set up some major boundaries this week, okay? At the bottom of the deck is deception and envy. Deception and envy, which is like the seven of swords. Yeah, behind it is new beginnings. I feel like you have started some new beginnings in your life. Maybe you've started a new job or you've gotten some new things. Maybe you've moved into a new home, gotten a new car. Uh, some of you have gotten into a new relationship. And there may be people who are deceptive around you, people who are envious, jealous of these new beginnings. Look, right behind it is material and spiritual prosperity. Forgive the glare on the cards. They're a bit shiny. Material and spiritual prosperity right behind it. But with that is emotional withdrawal, okay? Right behind it. So you could be feeling like, man, do people just, do I have a, a fucking target on my mind or on my mind, on my head, on my forehead? That's what I want to say. It's like a, a picture of a target, <laughs> on your head like you know do i look like i just want to be used like what in the world why do people come into my life to mess me over we have the power card which is like the strength card leo energy so something could be very difficult where you need power you need to stand in your power you need to stand in strength fertility is here uh, some of you may be finding out that you're pregnant. That's just a side note for some of you Pisces ladies. Uh, for others of you, this is the Empress, okay? The fertility card is the Empress in this deck. So it's like, you you see how she's standing strong and almost like, I am woman. <laughs> she's standing in this strong, however they, they painted this image on this card. It's a almost like she wants you to feel her aura and her aura is of love with the green, okay? She stands strong in her emotions and she's not afraid to be who she is. She's abundant, she's fertile, okay? Male or female, spirit wants you to stand in your power and be strong, abundant, and fertile and throat chakra is here, okay? So this tells me whenever throat chakra comes out, this tells me that, um, you need to speak up about something this week. Um, you, it may be difficult for you, but you're learning slowly but surely, learning how to tell people like, I deserve better. I deserve more. I'm worth more than what you're giving me. Okay. So that's the initial message. Let's see what else spirit wants to say. Clarify this energy for Pisces. Clarify this energy for Pisces. What else do you want to say to Pisces about this energy for this week? What else do you want to say to Pisces? Oh. Oh. 
Okay, okay, cards are flying out. Look, <laughs> I say the strength card, Leo energy, there it is. Yeah, with the Page of Pentacles. Again, something is difficult for you to say. Someone may have something difficult to say to you. So vice versa. But if something is difficult uh, concerning when you get the Page of Pentacles, that means a message. That could mean an apology as well. But someone is trying to gather strength to communicate. Okay? Yeah. At the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. Something is a struggle. Why is the power card here? Mm. Why is fertility here? Why is throat chakra here? Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I don't know, Pisces. There may be some shocking news with a pregnancy surrounding a pregnant pregnancy. Okay. With the power card, we got the tower, Scorpio energy. Okay. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. This is their major arcana. Doesn't have to be. But when the tower comes out, it's like you're trying to keep it together. You're trying not to go off on someone. I feel like your anger may be boiling inside of you um, this week concerning a certain issue, which is why we have the power card here. Like I was saying, something may be very difficult to hear. Something may be very difficult to talk about. Um, it could be for some of you concerning a mother figure, a mother in your life. You may have an argument with your mom or a mother figure, okay, or a woman in a uh, abundant position, meaning like a boss, a supervisor, a woman who has power uh, or authority in some type of way. You may get into a very big argument with this person, um, a person who wants control. Uh, to clarify the fertility card, we have the Ace of Swords. So that tells me communication, okay? Communication is coming in. For some of you, um, if if this is not your situation and it's flipped, I feel, because I do see another story where there may be someone who finally gains the strength and the power to come toward you and manifest being an uh, in relationship with you and starting a brand new beginning, they finally tell you how they feel, okay? Uh, for others of you, you may find out that someone is married. Throat chakra, you need to speak up, manifest, speaking. It came out to clarify throat chakra, okay? Manifest speaking and telling someone how you feel. Okay, don't keep letting things happen over and over again. Something is definitely a struggle. Okay, could be on your job as well. I feel like this is what a strong female figure. Queen of Pentacles was right behind the uh, Ten of Wands. So something could be difficult financially. Okay, you may need to save money. Start, uh, start watching your spending. I want to say that. Okay, but there's something here where I feel like you, <laughs> you need to speak your truth and stand up with that ace of swords and communicate. The swords are all about communication. And when you get the ace of swords, that's like a big truth coming out. Um, and you need to communicate your truth. Don't allow anyone to keep you quiet or try to deceive you deception and envy from starting a new beginning, okay? Don't let anyone try to deceive you and get you to come back to them or get you to go backwards, taking 10 steps back when you've taken 20 steps forward to improve your life or get out of a situation, okay? I do want to clarify that tower. Why is the tower here? Okay, we have one fallout. Yeah, the star card, <laughs> See, someone could be coming back around trying to heal a situation with you. This person can be a little overbearing, I feel, because um, right when the tower fell out, we had the Knight of Wands. So this could have been a player, playboy, playgirl. This person may be panicking that you're moving on or that 
Pisces is starting to gain more strength and realize your worth. But I feel like, look, at the bottom of the deck, let me show you, eight of wands. Yeah, someone's going to come toward you. Could be a, a cancer or someone with cancer in their chart with the chariot. Someone, look, three of cups wants to reconcile. Coming in, movement toward you, coming in to reconcile. They've been moving slow, back behind there. There's the king of cups. Finally, their emotions are showing. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. This might be someone definitely who in the past was arrogant. And now they want to come in with some type of offer of reconcili <clears throat> reconciliation. <sighs> Let's see. Is it worth it? <laughs> That's what I want. I feel like someone has a di is having a difficult time coming in to say how they feel, but I feel like you are having a difficult time standing up to this person. That's what I want to say. Someone is struggling to tell you how they feel because they know that they were F boy, F girl in the past, in your recent past. And I feel like every time this person comes in, you give them another chance or you open a little crack for them to come in. Um, whether that's through flirting with them, uh, you know, answering their phone calls, you're allowing a little door to open for this person to come back in. So I feel like it's difficult for you. The challenge for you is to speak your truth and say, no, no more. So let's see, what does this person need to say? What else? Oh, okay, well, we have one fall. Hand, let me show you, hand of cards. This hardly ever comes out for anyone. It says, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling, hand of cards. This person has a trick up their sleeve, okay? When I see hand of cards, it's like someone who's, like the card says, being strategic. Like, this was similar to your last reading uh, from, from your weeklies from uh, the week before. Uh, when I was saying someone, it's like they know just what to say to Pisces, to get you to fall for them. This person knows what cards to pull on you, okay? For spirit to bring that card, I'm telling you that as many times as I shuffle these cards, this one hardly ever comes out. This is what you need to do, ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. That's why I said, you are an empress. You are an empress. It's time for you to ascend, ascend Pisces. No more going back to these F boys, F girls, people who use you, abuse you. At the bottom of the deck, it says ax. Break up separation, stop the pattern. <laughs> Stop the pattern. It's time to stop this bad cycle of letting this person back in. Silent treatment and abandonment. Maybe you can see that on the card. The words are so small. Wow. It's what I've been saying this whole time. You have got to stop the pattern with this person. This bad cycle, whoever, it may be several people who keep doing this to you. Like I said at the beginning, not just with a romantic partner, this could be with friends, family, just toxic people who keep coming in and hurting you or using you. And you keep, oh, well, they didn't mean it. Oh, well, well, maybe they were having a bad day. Well, no. Well, maybe they need my help. No, no, no. Turn the phone off, block, delete, <laughs> whatever you got to do. What's the advice for Pisces for this week? What's the advice for Pisces for this week? What's the advice for Pisces? Because I feel like someone, okay, one fail. I feel like someone 
is trying to get you to open yourself up so they can come back in and deceive. <laughs> They're coming back in to deceive. Uh-uh, no, no more of that. It says life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. Now, you can't get more simple than that. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change, meaning stop the pattern, or heal anything that is unbalanced. Okay? Meaning over giving to people. Overgiving of your time, your energy, your love, your heart, opening up your home. Every time someone says, eh, it's like, you know, Pisces has that big heart, but you also have to learn how to protect yourself as well. Learn how to protect yourself as well. All righty, you guys. So that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you, Pisces. Have a great week and take care. Bye.